Welcome back to EverQuest. It's time to hit up Tier 1 Luckland Raids. That's right. We're waiting on the Agents of Change so that we can get in on the Velius Raids and finish those off. But we're going to move up to Luckland and take on Hard Mode tonight. It was suggested by Blastory that we try something hard. So if we die, it's all his fault, everybody. That's right. So welcome back to the Salted Team. They're all here and we've got everybody. I'm going to show you the Agent here. This is what it looks like. We have 20 in the Agent of Change, and we have 20 in the Raid. This is kind of what it looks like. Uh, doc, I'm playing Dr. Fauci. We got Rags in my team, Blast Story, WizTech, and then we've got Mosquito Zuku and Traz. Welcome back, Traz. Good to have him back after our nice run on Thornblade. So that was a good run, guys. Very good fun. And let's spin this around here. Let's talk about the map. We're going to go for Doomshade first. The way it is is you come in here and he's in front of Vexstall. And we need to clear some trash, get some guys to pull some trash, and then mow down the trash to clear a lane. And then we can pull Doomshade all the way out there. I mean, not Doomshade, but Rumble Crush. And then the big prize at the end is going to be Doomshade. So yeah, either way, you can clear to Doomshade or Rumble Crush. It's all up to you guys. We'll wait right here where it's nice and safe. We have cleared to Rumble Crush first, I guess. Because Doomshade is a sequence to do it. So we're going to fight both of them right in here? No, I just, we'll fight one at a time. You fight them in the hallway where Mosquito is. Then people can go around the corner like this and get right around the corner and avoid the uh, AoE, A Rampage later. But meanwhile, we have these guys here. Got these little squids here. Oh, I got to set up Extent to Target. Oh yeah, let me do. Might as well do that right now while you guys destroy these guys. I put Blast Story's pet on extended. And some Indicolite drop. How interesting. Okay, and there's pearls. Wow, you know you wanted it. Big and salty. Gonna go on extended. And short and salty on extended. And chew it up. Let's see. Healing ours. And let's cover this other side. Healer like this. And let's see what else. We can cover Mosquito. Cover the Zuku. And Tross. Welcome back, Ron Stuckey. Thanks for joining us. And they got that extended target left. Let me do the next one. Yep, you guys mow them down. So yeah, we're going to challenge ourselves and see if we got what it takes. If we can defeat Doomshade when that time comes, that'll be a very good sign. And we can move up to more difficult stuff. Because as you know, North Temple Vishen is way harder than all this stuff here. Much harder. We stayed at 60 or... Yeah, we're going to stay at 60 until we get our faces ripped off. And, uh, and and then 665, we'll, we'll do it as long as we can. I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to take Vexdal at 60 because we don't have any, enough people. But, um, you know, when we hit Blaine's Power, 65 for sure. But who knows? We may hit 65 because the Emperor is tough and, you know, all that. We'll see what we can do. Yeah, so in other news, I've been following the Gabby Petito case. And one of our viewers out there, half insane guy, says he actually knew uh, Brian Longy. I think that's kind of amazing. Mokhtor Breastplate for Warriors. Kind of an interesting case. So the question is, is where is Brian Laundry? 
one that could, could be hoping to be found dead. Yes, I was kind of hoping that way, but he's such a wuss that they said people are saying he wouldn't kill himself. Save the cost of a trial. I know. It's <laughs> like, you know, you know, you know why? <laughs> That's the unfortunate things. He just won't kill himself. You just know it. he's such a coward and he's still running out there. Parents are helping him and oh man. That's just what the parents have done to to help him escape is just is just horrible. And Ron Stuckey, we're in the instance Rumble Crush is up. Well, you know the thing is is I was watching a little bit of John Walsh's show, you know, he's to America's Most Wanted. And what they were saying he was saying is that I think it was Eric Rudolph, he's the uh the Olympic bomber from 1996, they said that guy was hiding in North Carolina mountains. Of course, he had a lot of help from his, from his, from people, but they couldn't even find him out in the mountains. It was that hard, super hard to find. Oh yeah, up in the Appalachians and that. Yep. that is rough country. So John Walsh said the only way they found him is his. He was getting food from his his cocaine dealer. And that guy had a heart attack and died, so then Eric Rudolph had to come in and eat out of dumpsters. And that's the only reason why they caught him. But they would never have caught him. And so I just, I mean, he, you look at Eric Rudolph, he's a much tougher guy than Brian Laundrie. Brian Laundrie, he's just, he's just a spoiled kid. But I sure hope they catch that guy. Hey, Zelenak may be up out here, guys. I think I know where he's at. Where's he at? inside of a gator yeah i hope so at least i hope one foot's inside a gator and tinfoil um yeah he, he th it is the autopsy confirmed it was a homicide so he was the one with her and the location was where their van was uh it, it definitely is and all other signs how he lawyered up and how he um is on the run now how the parents are helping him it's like yeah it's pretty obvious Very, very obvious what's going on. But the police got to be careful. They can't say, oh, he's a suspect now. We'll use this new word called person of interest, new phrase, person of interest. But he's definitely getting help from somebody, but it should be easy to catch him after a while. The police force is a very efficient force, and um, they work very well together. It's just like... Uh, you know, he he's going to need to charge his phone up or something to get back on Instagram sometime. So they got to come from somewhere. And a lot of people are looking for him. I think social media has done so much to expose where I don't think the FBI would have found his body if it were not for that channel, Red, White and Bethune is a YouTube channel. These bloggers that actually caught the van on video and then you find out where the body was it was kind of close to where the van was so they were the ones that um, helped uh, uncover it yeah and the thing is is uh, tinfoil the news gets out to Australia so slow there are you have to look for the other news on YouTube there's a lot of people that have the news before it's actually gotten out there there's some intricate defiant and they were able to get the news First, the news doesn't report it like two, three days later. Just like some news is just saying that uh, Brian Laundrie is missing, not hiding or running. But anyway, <laughs> enough to give you guys nightmares. But hopefully, John Walsh. Uh, with his In Pursuit TV show will catch him because he's brought in a lot of bad guys. And it's getting real quiet now because everybody's checking to see if they can find Brian Laundrie. Yes? Yeah, I was going to say something about uh, Waldo. <laughs> yeah, where's Waldo? They said the problem with Eric Rudolph is they use forward-looking, uh, they use infrared on choppers and all that to try to find them. But they said there's so many other critters out there like bears and whatnot. Oh, there's a name guy here. And that that was uh, hard, to, made it hard.
Oh, there we go. Bracelet of Fortitude. Help yourselves, guys. You've seen it a million times. You know what it is. Trash. <laughs> Yeah, so Tinfoil and other news, they're still doing the autopsy, but they were able to declare within the first day that it was, that Gabby Petito was uh, killed and it was a homicide. So they were able to determine that immediately. So that gives lots of clues. They, you know, it wasn't like the person just died of natural causes. There's probably visible evidence. And Sarasota, Sarasota, we do too. I like it. it's a unique zone, but man, the raids are hard. But they have some of the coolest raids, like the Emperor. Uh, it's very interesting. And some of the characters you get to fight, I think, are kind of cool. Uh, Lord Seru, what an interesting fight with this for the Sword of Truth. And um, Deep Thought Horror Overfiend. Yep, that's right, Benjamin Hanks. It's all about the challenge. Uh, we have a, 20 people here, but the thing is, is as you know, when you go and fight Doomshade and Rumble Crush, it all changes. They're very, very tough. They have AOE Rampage. They hit really hard and they have lots of hit points out in Luckland. They really do. Nope, Auto Paul. Yes, yeah, somebody say something. And Autopal, no, it opens in a couple months, I think, uh, or what is it, one more month, and then it'll be one, two months of Luckland, and then it'll go to Planes of Power in like December. But we moved back to the test server because the raid loot over in, on Luckland, it's, they're reducing the randomization of it. So it's harder for the small guys to get anything um, of use. So figured we'd come back here because uh, we could do a lot of stuff. And we're just in a process of clearing the trash here. Well, I don't know where that uh, gargantuan whatever it is is going, but it's running away. Really? <laughs> he knows where is, we're coming from. I can't remember. Do I need to clear all the assassins before we take on um, Doom? Uh, what's his name? Okay, so for Doom Shade, what oh. you wanted? Go ahead, uh, Shadow One. Yes, because it's you're going to be tough pulling them here when the assassins keep summoning you back to them. Yeah, and so there's going to be the Dark Masters after you do that, or whatever. There's four of them up there. If I guess we're going for Doom Shade first. So you want to clear around them so you can get a clear pull? You, you fill them in, Shadow One, on what to do. I mean, since it, the assassins are going to make it tough for them to pull them back here, we probably should just go out to them. Well. And then when we're ready to actually no, so do the last four not, guys. So far, they're not summoning me, so. You know what? Oh, okay. Try to get Zelen out. Until, uh, until I get a pullback, then I'll call for help. Yes, if you see Zelenak out there, he's that big uh, giant camel. Try to bring him in. He's a named guy. He has a cool sword. And in Luckland, this is where you get your rogue gear from. There's druid gear out here, too.
dark steel gray staff. Woo hoo hoo! And if we succeed through this, uh, the next days we'll do some more Luckland. And finally, on the weekend, our agent of change will be available for Kale. There was a bug in it. You can see it still has our ones from a week ago. When they redid the whole thing, it reset all the. Look at all these here that we've done. So we're just waiting. And next week, I think we're going to have New World coming up. We. We apologize. I apologize for not getting some EQ2 up, but we've been trying. Oh, so cats, it looks like both my sons are going to play New World. So they were asking me to date. What server are we going to be on? What faction? I was like, well, until we get on, we don't know. We'd love to have <laughs> them join us. Definitely would. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are going to be doing New World a lot. I can tell by the even the few videos I've done the the traction it's gotten like the the one on the nerfs and stuff and Benjamin Hanks out there yeah we have completed a lot of it some of it we haven't been able to do just you know some things like Nor Temple Vishan in terms of raid progression that's probably on this level right now so it's very difficult so we got to make sure we have enough people and as we go through the game we're picking up uh, adventurers on the way and gearing up. And uh, you just like we do each year, we'll be throwing in some EQ. Uh, even though we have New World coming up, I want to get, like I said, I want to get EQ two going somehow, because that that was a fun game. Also, we may be doing uh, other games like Vermintide two. I'm gonna try that one out. Yep, that's right, Ron Secky. I'd like to do Vermin, try Vermintide 2. Uh, as you see, I have that. I uh, did some Enlisted as a good game. I did a sniper guide. But I guess not a lot of people are playing Enlisted these days. Or maybe they just don't watch. Or maybe they don't play snipers. Or maybe they already know Ranger, how to do it. Ranger spell. If any oh, of our yeah. Rangers need it. No Rangers. Yeah, New World would be fun. So many people are, are anticipating getting ready. It's, you know, we've been waiting for a new game like that for ages. And it, people have been waiting for Pantheon for a long time. Hopefully it comes out sometime. So I was trying this other game out called Sheltered 2. If you guys played Shelter 1, it was quite interesting. It's like this war of mine. But Shelter 2 is quite interesting too. I made a little tutorial on that. It's um, that's pretty cool. It's like a uh, survival management game from the side. So something to look at while we wait for Doomshade. I don't think there's any more Dark Assassin. Oh, I missed a Dark Assassin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only five. Yeah. Here they come. Shoot time. Yep. go some dark assassin boots and some there you go just hit need on it if you guys need it. I'm sure you all got your stuff more poop rocks Oh, 
guys, we might as well go out and take him down. He's by himself now. Uh, you could pull him in here. The reason why... All right, you want me to pull him in? Okay, yeah, because so what I do when you pull him in is... It, I think you can... If you pull him into the hallway, not this far down here, but like kind of like halfway in the hallway, we can kind of hang around the corner like this and avoid the rampage. Okay. I think we can. Uh, can I pull the Dark Masters without pulling him? Yeah, because what happens is you pull the Dark Masters, because he shouldn't be up yet. You, you, you pull the Dark Masters... And then, oh, that's right. We kill the Dark Masters, and then he pops up and says, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. When you kill the fourth one, he shows up. Yeah, it takes like, yeah. So you can kill those guys. You got to kill four of them. Save the last one, and then, you know, you know what to do. You got it going on. Come dark masters. Well, that master's taking his own sweet time about yeah. coming over here. They're a little higher level too, as you can see. They got their sword. Yeah. Yep, yeah, and poop rocks. Yeah, where'd his other friend go? Got stuck on a tree, I bet. Here he comes. Scooby dooby doo. Yep, <laughs> he gets stuck on trees. Good way to kite him. Trees, friend or foe? <laughs> That's funny. So, what are your sons like about New World? Oh, I think it's just the fact that it's a new game. Yeah. You know, and they want to see what it's like. It's one, you know, it's one of the first big new MMOs to come out in a long time that uh isn't from Blizzard. <laughs> yeah. So did they play in open beta? Uh the one did on the 3-day or 4-day open beta just to see what the game mechanics were like. The other one, I mean, god, he plays so many video games. That that's the older one, uh the football player. He's he's going to pick it up just instantaneously. They both are. Cool. I mean, I'm not, yeah. That's good. Yeah, we've gotten good, uh, good reception from the game. Um, a lot of people like it, uh, and there's many reasons why. Um, you know, I, of course, the graphics are great. You know, that's the playability. It's pretty smooth. I like how there's a lot of things you can do even when other people aren't online and then there's some dungeons of course the dungeons were hard and then now they said they made it even harder i hope not too hard and there's supposedly raids and all that in there as you get up a higher level we've only got to level 30 so there's a lot to see Dark Assassin. Here comes our first baby donkey. Anybody want to help me with the Dark mm. Master? Yeah, engage. You're doing such a good job. People are like... It's like, okay, everybody kills the donkey. Then it's like, yeah, hard job's done. Let the yeah. monkey take on the big guy. Let's <laughs> check out this new donkey. After a donkey, you're like, hey.
Yeah, the name one might hit his head on the ceiling in here. He's pretty cool looking. He's got a nice sword too. And Ron Secchi, the max level in New World, I think it's 60. And it's pay once, but I think what they're going to do is they're going to start releasing X packs and expansion packs will have extra features and all that stuff or who knows, mounts are going to go that way. That's I think it's a good way to go. So it's going to be uh, interesting and they'll add levels later. They definitely need mounts in there. Oh yeah, they really do. The, just the running is, oh man, that's such a time sink. But I like how you can craft in there. Like I've told everybody, that is what I think is, um, they've done such a good job on Because normally I just, I don't craft in any game, you know, unless it's like Sheltered 2 or whatever. <laughs> that other game, I, I'll do a little bit, but... Man, New World really has you doing a lot of crafting, and it's not bad at all. It's very useful. You, you pretty much need it. Well, Rags, I hope your sons do enjoy playing with us. It'll be fun. It could be hilarious. That's good. Because I know what they're going to do. They're probably going to spend half the time trying to screw me up. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be good. It'll be entertaining. Spears, Dark Steel, Rapier. But yeah, we do need a new game this year. More new games. And just waiting for the Doomster. Dark Master, that's probably the last one. After we kill him, no, we should... No, next to last. Okay. Yeah, there's all these assassins everywhere. Still one left. We're talking about the Giants earlier, and I think one thing that people don't realize about the Giants is they got some people that are doing great and are looking good, but I think that's because, I've been thinking about it, I think it's because a lot of people don't know how to pitch some of the guys, like Lamont Wade. He's, he's a good guy, but historically he's never been that good. But uh, other teams just don't know what to do, and they just leave the ball up for him or wherever he likes to hit it. And I've seen even Dave... Uh, Brandon Bell, you know, same deal. They know he's a, a low well, ball hitter. Yes. If the Giants have a lot of guys that don't have, you know, two or three seasons of at-bats in the league, it's hard to have a book on them and to know where you want to throw them. <laughs> yep, and that's the thing. And same with some of their pitchers like Zach Littell. You know, people should be nailing that guy. But, you know, they're making him look like ace of the staff sometimes. Sometimes he looks so good with very ordinary stuff. But yeah, on the hitting side, a lot of the Giants, I look at them and, you know, you can look at good hitters like Chris Bryant, and people know how to pitch Chris Bryant all the way. And they're careful not to make mistakes. But 
But when it comes to people like Brandon Bell, I see other teams just, they, they got to pitch a guy high, high and inside or up in the zone, but they, they're laying some pitches down low ball. He's a dead low ball hitter, and that's where he's getting the majority of his homers off of. So a lot of teams are making mistakes, and these guys at the major league level, they're all good mistake hitters. So I'm thinking to myself that, yeah, that's part of the reason why the Giants are successful is they're just people are just laying it in there. They're making bonehead pitches to them, and they're just nailing it. So I kind of watch a few of the games, and it kind of it kind of looked that way. So for those of you who just joined, we were just talking about that. But they're figuring it out. Like they're figuring out how to hit off Kevin Gausman. Figuring out what to do to make him get that split finger up in the zone. Yep. Because so. Okay, this is last one. Okay, good job, Rags. So let's see, how many minutes until the guy pop? Uh, it's a couple minutes. So it depends on the All server. Right, there's light. another dark assassin out there. I'll pull in after we yeah. get this guy. The tension is building. And welcome, uh, Bella Mish Mishra, out there. How you doing, Bella? Oh, it's in a different language that he's writing. I don't know what it is. Uh, uh, Bella Mishra. That looks like uh, Arabic. Well, hello and welcome. What? Yes. He says, die, child. Oh, I don't know. Hello, Lee Dunning. Welcome aboard. Yeah, some things I don't catch up out there, but nice to have you guys in there. No more dark assassins. Oh, Bella says, please raid me. Oh, I don't know how to do uh, the raid thingy on YouTube. I don't know how it goes. So, uh, Bella Mishra, thank you for asking. Yeah, I don't know how to create the uh, raid where you raid another person's channel. But that's usually when this channel is over. When we're done, we will do that. But other people know how to do it. On Twitch, you could do it easier, it seemed like. Come some dark assassins. We have party guests. And uh, yes, getting into VT is hard. Thank goodness we don't have the deep key quest spirit of Omakin. Oh, that goes our beast lord who is the Traz X. There you go, Traz, have a spell. Yeah, I know. VT, we usually do a pre clear because. Just for the sake of keeping the live stream short enough, we'll send in our high levels pre clear and just so we can fight the bosses. But man, VT Vexal was a long raid. Is the Doom Shade up? Yep, he's up. Okay, All boys, right, pull guys, your pants get ready. up. Get ready to go. That's right, pull your pants up, get your depends ready. Because you want to fight him in the hallway. Don't bring him all the way up here. We're going to hide around the wall. Hope that helps. Oakley, Oakley. I'll but, just bring him right into the entrance area. Right you there. can bring him halfway because you'll have to be within complete heal range. Let me see. Let me get the range here. Yeah, it's about halfway, I would say. But who knows? Maybe we'll be able to blow right through it. I'll sit right here so you can see it. Doom Shade. D -d -d Doom Shade is coming. Yep, he's 66. Yep, he's 66. Licking his pickup sticks. And we're losing our regen. Uh-oh. 
It's going to make it just a little more difficult, more hard mode. Come on, Doom Shay. Don't kill Rags. He's doing good, just as long as you don't damage him. Okay, that's good range. Yeah, about right there, Rags. Here comes Doomster. Okay, here we go. Let's get big and tasty ready. We should be clear of the AE Rampage. Yep, oh, oh, big and salty. Heal coming for big and salty. Complete healing coming. We're doing all right. Yeah, I'm getting rid of this assassin first. Yeah, then good I'll job. Come in on Doom Shade. Dagger into complete heals. Wow, he's taking down, going down fast. And salty hard. This is going to be a long fight. Yeah, we got time. Oh, doing all right. Okay, I'll just wait. Looks like I can cast it around 75%. Incoming complete heal. Let me get the elixir on. Oh, you're doing fantastic, guys. Wow. It's opening a new chapter. Yeah, really good. Wow. Yep, safe from AE Rampage. All I care about is, do I out DPS Sultan's corpse? Yeah. Not so far. Oh! Bummer! There you go, you just pulled ahead now. Oh, actually, no, you pulled ahead of Sultan again. Sultan corpse is still ahead of you. Shouldn't have gave me that hog today. Hmm. All right, cruising right through him. Wow, we're we're ready for bigger stuff. Of course, there's some tough ones coming up. Lord Seru. Uh, Deep Thought Horror over Fiend. Uh, I can think of some toughies. Yeah, big salty's not fully defined yet. I think he's still got a few of the shoulders and the belts and all that. So. Oh, pretty good. Salt, did you want a different mic or something? He's got it turned down though. Yeah, his uh, sound level is really low. Nice job. And we have Rumble Crush next, a big pile of poop rocks. Bye bye, Doom Shade. There you go. Ooh, got some good good loots on him. Uh, what does he have here? Bracelet of Fortitude, of course. Here's Curse Halo of Thought. Oh, wow, look at that. Negative, but it's got three mana regen, which would have been cool. The Knuckles, I don't know how they compare. I think they're better in Defiant. We have uh, Long Sword of Freedom, which is nice. Mm, Just in damage. Not really. Delay. Really? What's the uh, ones you have? This is, oh, yeah, probably you're right. Welcome aboard, Xavier. And Burwer Beast, that'll be a good one, Xavier. We've done that before. That's a good event. So, anybody see yeah, any good because... like? Yeah, Salt and I both have elaborate defiant quick claw, and that's like a 0.895 ratio. Oh, wow. Plus, it's got a ton of stats and everything on it. Oh, yeah. cool. Hey, if any, does anybody want any of this stuff on there? Um, you know, they have, uh, what is this? 
This is another Beast Lord. Wow, level 60 Beast Lord. Let's give it to Traz. And yeah, somebody give Beast Sword stuff to Shock of Fiery Blades. This is a magician. This one goes to El Blastory. And we have uh, Necro Spell. Huh. Don't need it. Okay, uh, if nobody wants, just hit need. Next up is Do I mean Rumble Crush. Now you okay, guys we're gonna to move pull. over to his area. No, you want to still pull him here. Now remember how you gotta pull him. You can pull the whole pile and if you time it right he'll outrun the other guys and then they'll all peel off and they'll go back his ads will and then you can get him by himself but it's a little tricky i'm trying to remember where's he at right by the entrance of Vexdal. yeah just when you go out of here turn right follow the wall the edge of the zone and you'll run into a uh, a large building with a large ramp he's up at the top of that oh there he is got him got him got him got him got him got him okay kawabunga remember how to pull him you gotta pull the whole pile and then just outrun so that he's the only one staying with you may have to slow up for him so he doesn't get caught on a tree yeah with eagles on he's gonna have to slow for him two or three times yeah but not too slow because if you're too slow you'll get the trash but you want to be faster than a trash, but just slow enough for Doom for Rumble Crush. Good challenge. Yeah, I'm gonna no pull crusher. some stuff that's in between right now, okay. just so I clear it out, so we don't. Yeah, he's got like six. Six, yeah, plus ones at the bottom. Yeah, there's yard trash down here. All right, yard trash. Rax, do you have a stuffy nose? Yeah, I don't know if I got a little bit of a sinus uh, thing or whatever. Uh oh. You know, on the flight because yep. um, uh, uh -oh. I didn't hardly get any sleep last night. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, you know what you can do? They had these studies on uh, how people were dealing with COVID before the vaccine came out. And you can use Provodone iodine, or you can use uh, Johnson's baby shampoo mixed with water and uh, you put on a Q-tip and clean your nose out. That'll reduce your viral load. Yeah, no, it's something. It's up in the sinuses because, you know, I can feel the uh, underneath my cheekbones. Uh-oh. That sounds like an infection. Yeah, Ooh. I'm going to go see the doc in the box on Friday when I get back. Yeah, get a COVID test. Oh boy. Yeah, you've been on that airplane. That's scary. Yeah, anytime you feel lymph nodes getting that way. Are you getting scratchy back of the throat? No. Nah. Nah, it's just, uh, you know light pain underneath the cheekbones and like at the top of the roots of the teeth I mean which is usually whenever I've had a sinus okay welcome board Samhain yes Xavier Griggs yeah we should do Griggs too he, he he's uh -oh, on this tier. leg spike not good that's okay hey, the rest of you guys get a leg spike oh, yeah there's always one here yeah. and there hotel leg spike and Xavier out there yeah uh, Griggs should probably be at this level He's a tier one raid mob in Luckland, so that would that's a good one to do. Okay, next up, Rumble Crush. Okay, same deal. But I can't wait to fight the Emperor. I mean, that'll be crazy. And we got we don't have enough wizards to kill him outright, so we'll have to get those crazy bane weapons. It's gonna be rough. We'll have to save for a night where we get a lot of people on. And welcome board, uh, Chad. Thanks for joining. That's right, Chad. We're moving up. Yeah, and Lee Dunning, we had somebody uh, named 
Arushni and uh, Kickstand who played with us. He was used to be um, he was the guy that cleaned the aircraft, and he said a commercial aircraft. What he said is that you should see the air ventilation system. It's just got like mold and all sorts of crazy stuff in it. Just like, you know, gross stuff. And thanks, Lance. Leverage. You guys ready for a poll of about 18? Yep. No, no, you, you're not supposed to have all those. You're supposed to outrun them. And then uh, I'm running as fast as I can. Well, let me see where it is. Yeah, keep coming. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Pretty soon, Rumble Crush will be the only one on the list. And Lance Leverage, yeah, what happened is um, somebody said the zone wide aggro was that way, but what wasn't supposed to happen is that they aren't, weren't, all the ads weren't supposed to come at once. And that's how I remember it. Good. They're, do, they're doing good. Oh, you lost Rumble Crush, so that's not good. You're maybe going too fast. Yeah. Heading back. Yep, you got to get it just right. See if I can grab him before he gets up to the top of the stairs. Yeah, you don't want him getting up there. Definitely don't want that. So you'll get the speed just right. I did a video on this before, and it took a little while to get him just right. Because Flight of Eagles is way too fast. Yeah, so anyway, Kickstand was telling us, he's saying, yeah, that... The reason why people get sick on there is even though they say, oh, the air is filtered, it's this or that. He told us another thing, too. He said, in addition, the water supply is really dirty, too. So he says, um, you don't want to be ordering the water on the plane. And the air is just, you know, it's recirculated air. It's just gross. He said there's a ventilation system he's got to clean out. And it's like black, black mold. The rest of the airplane's really clean, but that, that ventilation, and it, he said it goes right by the bathroom, too, and sucks the air in from there. So you're getting hit from two places at once. You're getting bathroom air and everybody else's breath. I'm scaring y'all. No one's going to ever want to fly again. Yeah, well, heck, I don't want to fly just because, you know, when COVID first came out, there is a. I read the story of the the South Korean uh, flight attendant. She had COVID, and so she got on a plane, and that one lady spread to just about everybody. They did contact tracing and found that everybody else got COVID from one person because the air just kept circulating around. And Gene Henson, welcome back. Yeah, that's right. Jason Robinson, snakes on a plane. Snakes like nice moist air. So, yeah, you know, it's, I don't, I mean, I thought about, do I want to travel anywhere? Nowadays, it's just scary. Oh, good leg spike. <laughs> yep. Keep working it. So, you know, thinking about it and like, yeah, I don't really care. To, before it was like, yeah, you think about traveling, but things have changed so much. For example, nowadays it's like everywhere you go seems like it's the same and everybody knows stuff about it. In the old days, travel was much better and it's so touristy now so um you know it's not what it's all cracked up to be and in addition to that it's just you know you think about it if you if you're in another country and you catch a new variant of covid you know that could be it for you out there they don't even know just like the delta variant was in india first and, oh you got him by himself nice job all right, now you just you just got him, yep. Yeah. yeah, there you go. You're getting it. Yeah, and Lance, yeah, that's right. So you figure there's so many variants out there. You go somewhere else. Like there's people that went to India when COVID was, when Delta was just ravaging a country and they caught it and nobody even knew it. They don't even know how to test for it, but they know they got it because later on they figured out that's where Delta sprung up. So, yeah, you could get in a situation like that. It's bad enough we go to another country and we get sick. It's happened to me. You know, just mild sickness. Hey, he's about here. Okay, get ready, dudes. Uh, another lag spike. It's Yikes. Okay. Come back a little bit. Okay, stop. You're too far. Okay, back. okay you're too close. Okay, back up a little bit, just a little. Okay, you're, that's good, right there. 
Oh, he hit me. Holy smoke. Wow. Okay, let's get it going. Oh, wow. Look at this. Hit, hit. Ow, 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 ow. Trying to get you. Trying. Complete heal coming in for big, uh, big salty. Jeez. Yeah, be attacked from the back if you can't. Trying to get, oh, you're out of complete heal range, rags. Still out of range, rags. I'll just use a light heal on you. Oh, we're doing great. How's that? Okay, that's better. Let me get you. Thank you. Yep, here we go. Heal chain going. Now we're in. There we go. Yeah, I got double complete heals going. There we go. Incoming complete heal. Okay, waiting. Huh, rags out of range. Rags out of range. I'm for standing heels. right next to. I'm standing right next uh, to. You're assaulted. still a little out of range. Yeah, we're out of range from us. We can't heal you. There Coming we go. Coming back. Thank you. Mosquito out of range. Oh, I almost got him. Nice job, everybody. Using my light heal. Got him. Nice. Nice there work. We go. Wow, we passed the challenge, guys. Very good work. So there it is. Uh, ethereal silk sleeves. He has a totem of shadows. Check it out. This would be good for Luckland. And this is a nice one. The tunic of kinship. Monk Druid Beast Sword. Not bad, eh? No. But of Not course bad. Pre-Defiant. Right? That would have been pretty good. Pre yeah, so there it is, guys. Uh, yeah, it was pretty easy, Chad, but uh, we got everybody on board. We got 20 people, and we don't want to show you another wipe like last night. I mean, last night was that was brutal, the whole zone. I mean, all the trash. That was like, row, row. <laughs> You know, even this group here would have got destroyed by them because there's 16 of those red mobs and then they had master yeah. of the guard just i mean no way at all but we're starting with this and then uh we'll be back tomorrow with some more stuff so this is quite good guys not bad at all look at that makes you wonder you know the other raids are kiva runes and those are the vadin and sanity crawler who's really crazy and then you have um you know, there's a lot and stuff. But given the time here, anybody want any of the goodies? I don't think so. Yeah. I can yeah. use the uh, chess piece. Oh, sure. sure oh, sure. take it. All yours, Traz. Congratulations. It's a nice one. Nice little trophy to have. And I'm going to set this up to ask roll. Okay, well, guys, that was a good run. I, Rags a little under the weather tonight. We're going to uh wind it up and we'll be back tomorrow with some more we we've got a lot of choices uh but i think friday we may try the avatar war and tormax when our agent comes up let me see what it looks like cool kale drackle yeah one out one day in 12 hours so that means thursday friday will probably be kale drackle agent of change tomorrow we have a lot of choices um you know we can do uh akiva runes or something like that you know we passed this test so that means we can move up to another level so thanks for watching guys and uh, have a great week we'll see you tomorrow